Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. In my last video I started the Iron Man Metal Earth kit and it was too much to fit into one video. I don't really like splitting them up but that's what I decided to do. In the last video I ended, I had built the legs and the torso and now it's time to move on to the arms, the head and finish off the torso. So let's get started picking up where I left off. Here is the rest of the Iron Man kit. I used a marble to try and shape the shoulder part, but it was a little too big. I found a smaller bead that was pretty close and used the pliers to shape the part the rest of the way. Parts of part 40 were in the way of the tabs from part 42. I had to persuade them to move out of the way. When attaching this gold plate to the arm, I just could not get a good position to twist the tabs. I elected instead to push them over. Part 51 is very small. Try to get as close to the circle when bending the tabs over. Doing so will allow the tabs to line up with the slots more easily. If you bend too far away, you will have problems. Many of the connections on the arms end up having tabs that close to other parts. I often had to use the X-Acto knife to pry them away so I could twist them with the tweezers or just bend them over.
I had to work to open up the arm piece more than I expected to allow the two ends to fit. For some reason, there was not enough clearance on one of the tabs here in the shoulder. I had to pry on it a bit to make enough room for it to fit. There were a couple of tabs that I twisted instead of folding so I could hold the part in place. I came back to straighten them out later and fold them over.
I bent the tabs up here to make it easier to slide them into the slots as it curved over. The last two tabs were the hardest to get into their slots. It would have been a better idea to wait to close the jaw until after the side pieces were attached. I put on part 72 one tab at a time. I secured the one tab and then worked the other tab in the play. Be careful and study the directions to make sure you are attaching the pieces the correct way. It can get confusing. I used a mandrel to push the flaps on the inside of the circle.
The gold parts seem stiffer and harder to bend. The first couple of tabs connecting the back pieces went together just fine. The second two did not want to line up. I toyed with it for over 12 minutes to get them together. I waited until the end to bend down the sides of the base. I was concerned that over time as I worked on the kit, I might accidentally bend them back and forth and end up breaking one off. Let me start by saying this is a wonderful kit. It's more complicated and it takes longer, but what I didn't realize when I started doing this it is a larger kit. I knew it was going to be more detailed. It's easy to tell that from looking at the package, but when I was finished, it was a lot taller and larger than I expected. I even went so far as to set it beside a Transformers kit that I'd already built and it almost it kind of dwarfs the thing. It's almost twice the size. So it's amazing and is well worth the trouble and the time that you put into it. It is not terribly difficult, but it is for advanced users. I would not recommend starting with this kit. I would recommend doing a few other kits at the very least to get an idea of how this Metal Earth, how it's going to work and, and what you're in for. Just to get an idea and feel and a little bit under your belt because it, it does take experience, it will for me. It, I'm glad that I had experience that I did build in these kits because if I just started with this one I probably would not have gone on. Now I took my time with this kit. I spent a lot of time studying directions. It's one thing that I've learned working on these Metal Earth kits. It can be easy to misunderstand the directions and to put something on backwards. Plus with this kit being complex I actually ended up buying two Iron Man kits because I from the start I messed up one of the legs and I had spare parts. It was nice to have those extra parts, but I still tried to be very careful to make sure I was putting things on the right angle, the arm joints, the two different arms go together at different angles. It's easy to get a few places backwards and ruin the whole thing, or at least you have to spend a lot of time trying to carefully undo parts, which doesn't always work. You really have to pay attention to the instructions, so take your time, work slowly, double check if you're not sure. Look at the pictures on the on the packaging. Go online and look at the 3D or the uh, 360 degree view. Just take your time and be careful. It'll be well worth it when you're done. Now I say this in the narration of most of my videos, and I, and I didn't in this one. I'm going to say it right now. 
this video, both of these videos are edited. There's a lot of stuff I cut out. Like I said, I took my time and I studied the directions. And I didn't include all of that in the video. I mainly focused on actually doing something, on how the parts go together, on the tabs, and tried to add information on how to, you know, that might help somebody else build it, things to watch out for, and things that I dealt with. So the video is edited way down. I'm we're talking about hours worth of footage that I sat through and chopped out stuff because it takes four, five, six hours to do this, especially if you're careful and take your time. Probably even more so if you're not and have to do it over again. So this video is edited down. Parts are, are made, could uh, parts could appear as if they came together more easily than they did. I spent a lot of time adjusting tabs and trying two or three times before I got things just right. And a lot of that's been edited out because it would make for a very long video. So don't think that this kit's just going to fly together because it didn't for me. Uh, take your time, be careful, and pay attention. These kits take time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Keep an eye out. There's more videos to come. I have more Star Wars, more Marvel kits, more Mass Effect kits. I picked up the Black Pearl recently. And I intend on keep going. Uh, Batman's coming out. More Halo kits are coming out. I've got a lot of work to do. Again, thank you for watching. And keep on keeping on.